So I feel like we were pretty nice to the Acolyte last week, right? But this week is unforgivable. Oh, man. Uh -huh. It's got the trifecta. It's like, it's boring. Yeah. It's not even late, and I felt like that would put me to sleep. It destroyed canon, or at least added shit that is stupid and is dumb. And the third one is... Horrible acting. Horrible acting. I like that I went into a trifecta before I even knew who it was. <laughs> you really like, you're like, it hopefully, was... hopefully there's three bad things. <laughs> Something would come to me. There were. All of the acting was horrible, except for maybe angry Russian woman, but that was only because she's such like a two-dimensional character. If she was angry Russian woman. Yeah. You should experience this easy, even if you haven't watched it. If this was the first thing you watched of this show, that'd be the funniest thing because it's immediately dog shit. Because the first thing you see is the two girls on their planet Brendog and they're just terribly acting. Like they just can't act from the get-go. Yeah, it starts off, we see the two girls, bad acting. We get introduced by Mother Coral, bad acting. Then we meet Mama. <laughs> Super pretentious Mama. But just like, it feels like she's just reading her lines. Like, it feels like she's a big personality. And it was just, hey, um, you know what? You, you come off as a really strong personality. Let's make that your character. Strong female. Not even that. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> All right? Because it'd be very too easy. Very too easy. Way too easy with this episode to go there. Even if this episode was good, it would have a lot of an uphill battle on the internet because it is a planet full of lesbian witches that are mostly not white. Mm -hmm. And I think... Oh, no, there was there was one, definitely one white person. Okay. Well, that said, the Jedis have cut the bridge. They've sliced the platform. Oh, that one. No, sliced the... Sliced the... Like, what the, does that mean? The platform. Yeah, what does that mean? It's a space thing. You wouldn't get it. Damn, if only I was a space wizard. Yeah, like, I, I have a very strong feeling that the usual suspects of Critical Drinker and Nerdrotic... <laughs> oh, they've made their job easy this week. Uh, yeah, I feel like this week... They're all, they're all sitting there like this. Because, <clears throat> like, this is garbage. Yeah. And you could blow this up to be whatever you want it to be because it's that shit. I can see the grabby headline now of, and hopefully we don't end up using one of these, <laughs> of, like, the force was always female, yeah. question mark. Well, th that brings me to a couple of concepts that come up in this episode. The mm -hmm. force is very female. Yeah. The Jedi don't know how to use the force, and they use the force wrong. Yes. The force is a thread. Mm -hmm. It doesn't surround us and penetrate us. It's just a thread. Mm -hmm. And to use the force, you should be pretending you're an airbender from Avatar. Yeah. But like the Shamamalan Avatar. Yeah. Because you need to do a bunch of moves if and like then do one bending. force push. <laughs> I think they're trying to be smart. They're trying to be spiritual. They're trying to be spiritual, but they're trying to be like, no, no, this is the difference between Christianity and Islam, you know? Like, right. These are interpretations of you know, religion of the same thing, of God. I think they're trying to be 10th level intellect here <laughs> and be like, no, this is just how these witches perceive the force, which is their God. And they, they believe that their God, the true force thread God, is better than the force God of the Jedis. There's a lot of witches in Star Wars now. Like, mm -hmm. we had the Dathomirian Night Sisters. And then we and had then the Morgan White Sisters. <laughs> yeah, and then Morgan Elsbeth came over during Ahsoka. And then she got her own Tales of the Jedi. And then it turns out there were also Night Sisters in the other galaxy. Mm. But in this galaxy, we also have lesbian witches. I don't know. They, they went too far with the we are witches. Like, they call it a coven. Like, they're not doing witchy stuff. They're doing culty stuff. They're doing airbendery stuff. Yeah. And they have bows and arrows again, like the fucking Night Sisters, which annoy the hell out yeah, of us. They do. Like... It's just, it's literally just like a recurve bow that they bought on Amazon with stuff on it and then yeah. spears, even though they all seem to have the force. Like that seems a prerequisite See, to be here. I don't understand why they're not force monks. It should be female force monks. Well, the Night Sisters never mentioned the force. They were yeah. like, they were just like, oh, magic. magic. Like, and that kind of, it was kind of the force, but also it was different enough to be fine. Mm -hmm. Whereas these guys are literally saying it's the force, but we know the force wrong, but it, the force is a thread. But yeah. the way you do it is it's via Kung Fu moves. Mm -hmm. Because this whole show's identity has decided to be Kung Fu, mm -hmm. which is... It's lackluster hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think it'd be okay if, like, one... If the witches all did Kung Fu. So, mm -hmm. like, they could be a Kung Fu monk monastery of horse witches. Yeah. But then they've also made both the Jedi we've seen do anything also mm -hmm. do Kung Fu. So it's just like, why is everyone doing Kung Fu now? Because, and I explained this last episode, is they need them to do Kung Fu so that they don't just cut her, like, May in half with a lightsaber. They yeah. need her to do Kung Fu. They could just give May a lightsaber, but then she's Sabine Ren, I guess. They could give her like a vibro blade, because vibro blades can like yeah. hold back. Give him adamantium. Or, give him anything. Give him, give him some give him some type of witch beskar. Yep. Give her anything. Except throwing knives. 
except throwing knives. People were like, they were poisoned, obviously. Like I saw, <laughs> I saw people like debating that. That's like, like that's why they worked. Oh, so they people were, were defending the show. People love defending I, I the show. I haven't seen. I haven't people seen any saying this of is show. the best like original work of like wow. any Star Wars stuff. Um, the best combat of any Star Wars. That's ludicrous. At best, the last ep- two episodes were like fine. Like just like that long ongoing fight between Anakin and Obi Wan. Yep, it's cool um, shit. Insane. The story of this episode. It's pretty simple. It's literally two twins disagree. They're both going to become witches, I guess. Even though they're already using the Force, but there's something important about this ceremony that they have to take part in. Yeah. Then the Jedi interrupt it. The sisters get mad at each other because they, they, they're really trying to paint the Jedi as... They're like cops, I guess. You know, this was exactly cops. It was, you know we have the right to search your vehicle. Where's yeah. your warrant? It was, hey, where's yeah. your warrant? Stop resisting. Are you going to cooperate? <laughs> Even that conversation was super stupid. Like, Indara says, according to Republic law, we're allowed to take kids that are Force-sensitive. And we're then she's like, them. we're not in the Republic. And then she's mm-hmm. like, surely you'll accept our right if you say yes. And then the mom says yes. So it's just nonsensical. Mm-hmm. And then all that does is let the kids test out. But let's talk about the kids for a minute. So we have Osha and May as children. Yep. We know they're terrible actors. There was no debating. What does each one want? And is there any way that they can subtly show us what they want? Subtly? <laughs> the way these... Horrible actors portrayed their emotions. They just say their emotions. It's horrible writing that they had to give to horrible actors, is how I describe it. Yeah, I guess that makes it feel more forced. But even even just in the script, it's literally just them saying, we're twins, we're the same. No, we're not. I want to be my own person. Yeah. But you can't because we're twins. Two kids who are the only kids on an entire planet who have grown up with only themselves to like be around, you know, other than weird witch adults can either one hate each other may threatens to kill osha like twice osha, like despises may a little bit like she like keeps secrets from her and like lies to her and stuff i'll kill you she could say oh i don't want to be a witch like yeah for some reason they could come up with something mm-hmm. they probably couldn't but they should but the weirdness is that she wants to be a jedi though yeah and the only difference between the jedi and the witches is seemingly nothing one has a sword we're not even sure how she knows who the jedi are because mm-hmm. like if your mum mums by the way mums because lesbian there's a brachian carried the babies yes one says the the russian zobrak says i carried these babies and then mama says and i made them yeah and i created them and then the zobrak is like what if the jedi find out how you created them so the children are anakin probably like they're yeah. like made by the force they manipulated the midichlorians to create life which just means this is two kids that are just Anakin, but it's mm-hmm. like either side of Anakin, I guess. Like one's good, one's evil. Well, like, and that's their genius idea for this story. These kids are the Force, you know? Like, yeah. And maybe they'll go into it, but like surely May was a prodigy. We get told that like, they're super smart fairly often. Yeah. And uh, super powerful. She's like, you are a very powerful girl. And also, just one thing with this show, they can't ever show the Sith, right? Because... In episode one, they say to Qui-Gon that we haven't seen the Sith in a thousand years. Mm -hmm. If a hundred years ago, there was a little Sith cult going on. Well, this is an acolyte, not a Sith. No, she's the acolyte. I think May is the acolyte. But she she wants to become an acolyte. Yeah. But to become an acolyte, she has to kill a Jedi with her bare hands. Which is different to a Sith. And Yoda, I guess, was just like, no, it's different enough. I'm not going to tell. Correct. Do they have a red lightsaber and wear a mask? Yes. Yes, but that's just because fans don't know the difference. But they're not Darth Maul. The kids... Look... I understand the show was obviously limited. You had to get two actors who look very similar. I've seen Parent Trap. Lindsay Lohan exists and she's fantastic. True. They, they could have just used one child twice. We have the technology. Yeah. We've done it before. Obviously a lot easier for them to do two actresses, but that's just two bad child stars <laughs> bouncing off each other. Like child actors are supposed to bounce off of an adult actor yeah, who's very helps. good. So they're supposed to, the adult is supposed to lead the scene. You're not supposed to give a scene to two children who don't know how to act. They're in most of the scenes in most of the episode too. Yeah, mainly the- communicating with each other and like just doing things in the background. Like, man, this was the worst acting in a Star Wars thing I've ever seen. Are you an angel? It also doesn't add anything to the current day characters. Mm-hmm. Like... A flashback should inform everything that happened. Yeah. But I feel like in one or two sentences in the present, you could have done this. Yeah. Or even in a shitty monologue. Like we always say, show don't tell. 
but sometimes giving me a half hour of boredom is a lot worse than some guy just saying like a little monologue like oh my sister never wanted to be a jedi you know, we should have had this told in may having nightmares over like a few episodes yeah. or something as she like restarts her training and like she's rekindling herself with like the force and like may like they're like slowly becoming closer to becoming one or whatever yeah that would have been a better way than wasting 30 to 45 minutes on this dog shit they were very angry at each other as kids too considering at the start of the episode they have a little nursery rhyme of like you are me and i am you born as two but we are the same yeah is there one thread in the force probably <sighs> a thread has two ends i don't think that's how a thread works well how long is a piece of string so eventually the kids have to go and do this ceremony which, do you remember the magical song that everyone has to sing? Oh, it was... The power of one, the power of two, the power of many. There's also the chick at the very beginning who goes like... Oh, 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 oh. That's the one, that's the one. And it's just like, what is happening? One, the power of two, the power of many. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, it's, it turns into the Lion King on, like, stage or yes. something. This is exactly it. And then there's also, along with the singing, there's a song playing in the background, which is also repeating what they're saying. So Yeah, they have a full backing track. Instead of the soundtrack being like the classic orchestral soundtrack of Star Wars or whatever, it's now just like, you know, just soul sisters singing <laughs> the power of one, the power of two, the power of many. Did they create their whole religion around the birth of the two girls? No, it seems like they had the cult and they probably couldn't have babies because they realized they were all lesbians and yeah. when you do samesies it doesn't work yeah so then the jedi rock up they slice the platform mm -hmm. and they interrupt the ceremony just in time for osha not to have to go through the ceremony which is convenient so that one of the twins has a circle on her head and the other twin doesn't so we at least know the difference between them mm -hmm. i guess that's useful but then like indara is just a charisma vacuum like she's meant to suck in fairness mm -hmm. like she's meant to be this stoic mean bitch but she just sucks like <laughs> like she's not fun like trinity should be cool as hell mm -hmm. but she's not even that yeah and there is no jedi action in this episode either but the witches can possess people because witches i yeah. guess it's weird to see tommen without his shitty balding hair and his beard it's so gross they should have either stuck to is it like a force or is it witches now they're witches who use the force it's like yes they just made karate. them They've made them everything. They just have, have everything now. You know, it's like, just make them witches. Yeah. But cause... make these girls special because they have the force. And she well, says, obviously. pulling on the thread, you can manipulate the world and the Jedi mm -hmm. using it wrong. So that's why the Jedi have rocked up to like steal these kids. Mm -hmm. And Osha immediately comes forward and says like, look at their lightsabers. I want to be a Jedi. Yeah. And it's like, Fing why? Like you didn't even want to be a witch. It's manufactured tension in the way that it's like, the girls have to disagree on something. Yeah. So it's literally one wants to be a witch, one wants to be a Jedi. And for some reason, that's like the worst thing May has ever heard. Yeah. May is like ready to kill people over this. And Dara says, can we test these kids? Mm. And then the mom's like, fine, which is weird. She could have said no by this. Like, it seems like they could have said yeah. no. And then she goes to her coven elders. The council. The council. And there's that one gross ass witch. <gasps> like it's the... The CG wrinkle witch. It's so bad. It, she didn't need to be there. No. Like... Because all she said was like... No, we must let them test the children. Yeah, and they're talking about, like, you spill Jedi blood, and they're all like, no wonder they don't get anything done. Mm -hmm. Am I right, boys? <laughs> May makes Osha promise, you will lie on this test, and you will flunk it on purpose so we can stay here and be witches, promise? Which and is. Osha's like, you got it. And then she sees a Wookiee welding on a speeder, and she's like, that's it. <laughs> and at that moment, you were like, oh, that's why she wanted to be a mech neck. Yeah. It's like, yes, her love of machines started when she saw a Wookiee Using welding. like a finger welder. <laughs> it's like, like, wow. That's the, that's the level of storytelling. They're mm -hmm. like, oh shit, she needs to like technology. Yeah. Let's make her pay attention to this Wookiee. Later on, they do say that she wants to see the world. Yeah. She's like, that's why she wants to be a Jedi right. so that she can travel. Ah, oh, okay. But we also don't really see the Jedi as people that travel everywhere. And we also don't see the witches as people that don't travel everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a community, sure, but they're only being held up because they're kids. And they're be only being guarded as kids because if the Jedi see them, the Jedi want to take them. Yeah. So it stands to reason once they're older, they can fuck off and do whatever they want. Because this bitch is about to spend a lot of time on Coruscant. Like, she's not going to get to see the world. Yeah. She's going to go train for years. Because he kind of sold it on it, sold her on it, because huh? he was like, he was like, oh, there's lots of kids, thousands of kids there. Yes. And she's like, oh my God, kids. But if he was like, 
you know, once you complete your training, you can travel the world. Like she should have been drawing space maps yeah. or something like that and interested in space and getting out there. Well, but then she can just have the Anakin line of, I'm going to be the first one to see them all. Oh, that's literally it. It's Qui-Gon and Anakin. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Shows just stealing shit. Yeah. Well, then they, and then they also, because she, she does the Jedi test of what's on this iPad. Peter. And oh. um, I pointed out that they just stole the scene from um, Into the Spider-Verse 1 where she's getting every answer wrong on purpose and they're like, you can only get the answer wrong if you know the right answer. And she's like, oh, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> and know? it's like, she gets the first one wrong and he's immediately like, ah. Oh. He was like, you're right. But and she's like, N no. Well, let's do a little test. What do you see? A spaceship. Correct. A rabbit. Correct. A subscribe button. And you're clicking it? Click that. <laughs> Smash that like. So she passes the test with flying colors. May gets super mad at her and then runs mm -hmm. off. And then she just knows. May steals her booklet that she was drawing in earlier and then burns it with this random gas lamp yeah. that's just like hanging in the hallway. Every other light we've seen all episode is just like bioluminescent or like mm -hmm. technology light. And this one is just fire outside their room burning constantly. So she takes it, burns the book, and then what, 10 seconds later? 10 seconds later, the entire everything. stone hallway is on fire. It's literally stone and steel is all we've seen all episode, yeah. except for her room has some like plush stuff. Mm -hmm. But her room doesn't get lit on fire. No, the just the doorway does. and corridor get lit on fire. And it's fire. not just like, oh, there's fire. It's like a blazing fire. Mm -hmm. And what we think they're doing, I guess, is that they're painting it so the Jedi started the fire. Mm -hmm. Not only does that hallway get lit on fire, but like, as Osha tries to crawl through the vent to escape, the whole building starts exploding. The reactor blows up or something? Yeah, like the fuel lines and the walls. Did they, did they maybe allude to that? We'll have to go back and watch. The Zebrak hears something and walks out and she kind of looks out and you see like a little like electricity go like... Mm. Well, the only the only thing we have to believe that it might be the Jedi that somehow started as in Indara and her apprentice, because I guess they really f***ing wanted these kids. Indara seems disinterested, apart from the fact it's the law that she gets to test kids. Yeah. Like, that's just her thing, I guess. Like, she's like the seasoned cop who's like, all right, show us your kids, we'll <laughs> test them. Hide your kids, hide your ass. At the very end, in the very final scene, after Osha's rescued by Sol on the spaceship, after May falls into a big hole, because... Uh, they do cinema, you know, like when there's two sisters standing on opposite sides of a broken mm -hmm. bridge. Oh, yeah. Mm, such good cinematography. This is Captain America looking at the red skull. <laughs> From the distance. <laughs> it, yeah, it's completely stupid. Then May falls in a hole. Mm -hmm. At least 10 stories. Like, they yeah. show, like, a shot. So I guess she force stopped herself from falling. But that didn't save her mum because on the way out, Osha runs past all the dead bodies. There's no blaster wounds on any of the dead bodies that they pass. It's yeah. literally just... Corpses, not cor not even corpses. It's just it's just people laying down. Yeah, it's just people playing dead. The smoke inhalation. <laughs> I would not be shocked if it, if we found out that they were all faking it. Mm -hmm. But then why would they let Osha get taken? So that's yeah. that's a stupid thing to say. But that's how not dead they all looked because yeah. they're all like lying next to each other in like a clump of like ten. So it's like they're all having a little gathering, and then someone yelled like red light, and then they all had to fake death or something. Yeah, you don't even see like people crying over some people's dead bodies and stuff. Yeah, no rubble. It's people not being like, like feeling uh, caved in. And dying, or people running around. Everyone's just already dead. Instantly dead. Um, and Osha runs past And the there's wall. no blood anywhere, by the way. Because Sol takes her back to the ship. He's like, I rescued you. And he's doing his best Qui-Gon that doesn't speak English. Mm -hmm. And everywhere says that, oh, he learned English for this. No, he learned only his lines. Yeah. The man doesn't I speak English. I promise you, you will be my Padawan and never feel this pain again. It's exactly. And they cut away from him so often while he's talking because I guess he can't hold that many sentences mm -hmm. in one. Like he's talking to Osha. It's not like where you get to see Osha's face like reacting to things. Because she's a kid. She can't act. She mm -hmm. can't react. Acting is reacting. What? And she can't do that because she's a kid. So she's staring blankly back at this it's man. It's just him monologuing and it just cuts to her just being like blank expression. Just, like, that's what I do. Like whenever I've got up, I, I cut to you so that <laughs> I can stitch two of my lines together. Perfect. <laughs> Movie <laughs> I magic. I probably just did it then. Then she's on the spaceship and in the blurry background, you see Tommen Baratheon, also known as Torbjorn. Mm -hmm. And he's in the background and you can see he has like a bloody scar on his face. Mm -hmm. So it seems like he was in a fight, maybe he set off the explosions, that killed everyone else instantly, yeah. and he somehow got hurt. Like, it doesn't seem like he was in a fight, obviously, because every no, there's no blood on any of the carcasses. Yeah. But yeah, then the episode ends, and we've all we've really gained the knowledge of with these two girls is that one wanted to be a Jedi, the other didn't, 
Yeah. But then Osha stops being a Jedi 10 years later. I mean, what we kind of got is that they weren't even sisters to begin with. It's like they always hated each other, kind of. Apart from that one nursery rhyme where they're like, we're besties, but then yeah, turns apart out they're from not. That, all that we know is that they fucking hated each other. There's no real connection apart from the fact they look the same. Yeah, it's one was hurting that butterfly at the start, and the other one's like, stop it! Yeah, and May's like, always been a psychopath. And then it's like, what are you doing in that book? Nothing! You're lying to me! Secrets! Stop it, stop it! They are fighting the entire time. I would have loved to see them, like, confiding in each other more. Actually, like, talking to each other, being like... I don't want to leave you. That would involve anything acting. like that. Not even acting. I think they were written shittily to begin with. Mm. Um, you know, it's like these aren't two sides of the same coin. These are like completely different currencies. The difference of opinion isn't something subtle mm -hmm. that then like grows into a big divide. It's literally, I want to be a Jedi. I want to be a witch. And the one that wants to be a witch is, how dare you don't want to be a witch with me? Mm -hmm. I'll kill you. Yeah. And then like shoves her <laughs> and then sets everything on fire. It's it's just a very dumb show. People are going to get outraged mostly at the fact everyone's a lesbian witch, mm -hmm. but then the way they talk about the Force is stupid. Because this is canon, there's no real way to discount it. Why haven't we heard about this before, you know? Because the Jedi hate women like them. Oh, th yeah, there's the actual line. The galaxy is not a place that welcomes women like us. So the reasoning behind why the galaxy hates them, or is scared of them, sorry, isn't because they're like super strong or anything. It's like they're different. But I think, is it because they're black lesbians? I think it's because they're manipulating magic to create life. Maybe it has nothing to do with you guys being women. I think it has everything to do with you guys breaking the rules of the Geneva Convention <laughs> to create life. They do just hate them. Or at least mm -hmm. maybe they just think they're hated. They're the victims. Welcome to religions. It's really hard to talk about this episode without feeling like a bigot. <laughs> yeah, it's like I think everyone is automatically going to throw stones at people who hate this episode. I feel like they made it and they're like, they can't hate this episode. It has everything that you're not allowed to hate nowadays, but that doesn't excuse any of the horrible writing. Yeah, it's they've made it simultaneously super easy for everyone to hate on on the internet and super easy for everyone to defend because they can just call them bigots. There's no win there's no winning with this yeah. episode. We do this every time and every time no one actually writes a proper answer in the comments. But if you if you genuinely got something from this episode and enjoyed it, liked it, thought it was good writing, put an example of this in the comments. <laughs> make a reply video. Bring don't back, bring back a, the reply video. Don't videos. make a reply video. <laughs> Maybe just back. reply to the comment. Bring and back just, the reply video. Just comment and just say um, what you actually enjoyed from this. We have our obligatory flashback episode out of the way. It, it was way earlier than I expected. I was expecting episode six. But... That means we can do it twice. Because the Soka had a flashback episode, didn't it? Yep. Her training with Anakin and stuff. Yes. And that was, yeah, that was right at the end. 